Good happy Saturday morning, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast. Let's get started. First up, Child and Family Services hold sleep out to benefit homeless youth. Child and Family Services said, on any given night in Manchester, there are an estimated three hundred young people spending the night outside. Those 300 young people were represented by 300 tea lights set up around a tent where 75 volunteers slept Friday night. The sleep out gave just a small glimpse into a harsh reality for young people who spend cold nights like this one outside. So far, just one night, 75 people slept in 30 degree temperatures under a tent. Child and Family Services said it changes one perspective completely. Some 180,000 were raised as of Friday morning. That will go into helping young people in outreach programs. Children and Family Services hope to end youth homelessness by the year 2020. But until then, events like this will help the cause. It looks like an, it was an interesting event. I should try it one time. Police investigating report of officer sleeping in cruiser. A Massachusetts police department is investigating a report that an officer fell asleep behind the wheel of a police cruiser. Groveland police received a picture and video of a reserve officer who appears to be asleep behind the wheel of a police cruiser at an intersection. The picture was taken at approximately 5.30 a.m. Thursday. In a statement, in a statement, Deputy Police Chief Jeffrey Gillen said Friday his department takes the matter very seriously and will conduct a thorough investigation. The reserve officer was placed on administrative leave pending the outcome. Maine's congressional delegation weighs in on failed health care vote. Maine's congressional delegation responded Friday afternoon to Republican-led withdrawals of a vote on a bill to repeal and replace the Affordable Care Act after it was apparent not enough votes would be cast for passage. During press conference, Speaker Paul Ryan said that the nation will be living with Obamacare for the feasible Future. According to President Donald Trump, the health care bill fell short in the lead up to the House vote because of the lack of support from Democrats. The Republican health care plan would have eliminated the Affordable Care Act's unpopular fines on people who do not obtain coverage and would also have removed the often generous subsides for those who purchase health insurance. Republican tax credits have been based on age, not income, as President Barack Obama's bill and the tax boost Obama imposed on higher earnings people 
and healthcare companies would have been repealed. A non profitist Congressional Budget Office said the Republican bill would have resulted in 24 million additional uninsured people in a decade and lead a higher out-of-pocket medical cost for many low-income income people and people just shy of the age of 65 when they would become eligible for Medicaid. The bill would have blocked federal payments to Planned Parenthood for a year. And there you go on that report. How the GOP health care bill failed without a vote. In the first big blow to Trump administration legislation agenda, the Republicans' plan to repeal and replace Obamacare failed to gear enough support to bring it to a vote on the floor of the House Friday. And now let's take a look at some events happening today in New Hampshire. Hersey Cooking Workshop at Strawberry Bank is at 11 o'clock a.m. in Portsmouth. Body and Balance Restore Your Core is at 1.30 p.m. in Manchester. Maple Express at 10 o'clock a.m. in Candia. Saturday Nature Seekers Aerial Predators at 11 o'clock a.m. in Manchester. Craft Show New England Colonial Trade and Craft Show at 9 o'clock a.m. in Portsmouth. Characters Breakfast Series at 10 o'clock a.m. in Interverro. Mabel Sugar Shack at 11 o'clock a.m. in Interverro. Friends Program Youth Monitoring Orientation at 10 o'clock a.m. in Concord. Ever after with poet Daniel Villal at 2 p.m. in Concord. Mabel Sugar Madness at 10 o'clock a.m. in Laconia. Spring Fair 2017 at United Church of Pentecook at 9 o'clock a.m. in Pentecook. Mabel Sugaring Day Open House, Tamworth Village at 10 o'clock a.m. Electric Earth Concert presents the Vonner String Quartese at 7.30 p.m. in Jaffrey Center. The 30th Annual Bretton Woods Beach Party at 8 o'clock a.m. in Bretton Woods. Something Green Art Show in, in Kakuka at 10 o'clock a.m. Is He Dead at 7 p.m. in Portsmouth. Maple Weekend 2017 in Kirkuka at 10 o'clock a.m. And also happening today, everyone, is the Made in New Hampshire Expo 2017 at the Radisson Center at the Radisson Hotel. Details on this event, Made in New Hampshire. <coughs> Celebrates all things local. Attends can attendees can try it and buy it at the event. And it runs today and tomorrow as well. And that does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Saturday. Goodbye, everyone.